Jerson. Shout out to everybody who's tuning in. Yes, Titan sir. Lifestyle, getting everything going. 2 p.m. every Friday. Yes. Therapy of the week. Shink guys in the Crazy house. Crazy topics. AJ in the Brock. Mix. Yes, we got all kinds of good stuff. All right, so what's up, guys? Happy Friday. Welcome to Titan Lifestyle with me and Big Drew. Friday, Flex Friday, TGIF. Guys and girls, thank you for tuning in. This is Titan Lifestyle. We do this every week. That's right. That's I get right. excited about it every week, too. So it's been like 150, 200 episodes. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot of episodes. And it goes pretty quick, man. Usually we're interacting with all you great people out there asking your questions. Um, want to know about Titan therapies or anything that we can do to help you guys feel better, look better, perform better. Remember, we can service you guys anywhere in the United States. Call or text us at 727-389-3320 for all our great therapies. And if you don't know one of those therapies, ask us about them, and we will tell you about them. And we're going to cover one of the therapies of the week right now, which is a great one for fat loss, weight loss, and that is AOD 9604. So AOD 9604 is uh, a peptide therapy, Advanced BCU Drug 9604. And this is 176 amino acid chain out of 191 amino acids that's in growth hormone. So it's a fragment of the 191. And with this, this has all the great benefits for weight loss and fat burning in it. As far as lipogenesis, lipopolysis, that means burning fat and taking the fat stored in the body and using it as fuel, along with not storing fat in the body from what you're eating every day. Now, that doesn't mean that you go out and gorge and eat a whole bunch of garbage, but it will utilize what you put in to get out more energy expenditure. Yeah, especially with this, too. A lot of times, everyone is is on the whole semi-glutide Aries thing now. They forget about AOD 9604. If you guys are bodybuilding and you all have lean and you're, you know, you're lean, you want to be shredded, yep. this is what I, I would suggest overtaking Aries, which is semi-glutide. Um, like John said, it's going to burn burn fat. Actually burn fat, not just make you hot or not just give you energy. A lot of these fat burners you guys see, all it is is loaded caffeine. Mm-hmm. Makes it, so you can't eat and now you have energy and you lose weight. But then you feel like crap. And it doesn't actually burn the fat. AOD 9604 actually burns the fat. It's true. They've done tests with rats and stuff like that where the fat is actually being burned off. So yes. It actually burns fat. doesn't just give you energy. And again, if you guys are already lean but you just want to be tighter, I would suggest this over the Aries. Yeah, this is going to definitely be a great peptide for that. Um, if you got a couple pounds to lose, Aries, if you need to, you know, you have problems losing weight and stuff like that. But AOD 9604, you can even put along with semi-glutide if you really wanted to, yeah. to really expedite results. I was just about to say so, that, too. So, you know, you can do one or the other, or you can just combine them together to get an expedited result. It's really, really a great thing. Um, you know, with with these weight loss medications out here, there's so many new options that are helping people out there yeah. get to their weight that they want to do, their weight goal. No or helping people get healthier, too, because they're losing the weight. Yeah. You know, and then the onslaught of other genetic diseases as far as, you know, these different things that you might occur with having high blood sugar levels or being overweight, and which usually cause diabetes type 2 or cause kidney issues or problems uh, with other organs. So at that point, AOD 9604, it's great for weight loss, and we can do an injectable or an oral version if you really want to. Um, injectable to me is a little bit better. I've, I've taken both, but the oral has worked for patients. So um, if you want the sublingual b- version, we can do that for you guys. There's no blood work needed. All you guys have to do is car text 727-389-3220, fill out the new patient paperwork. You'll get set up for your consultation. A medical provider will see you, and at that point, we will be able to help you guys out with this therapy and many other therapies that don't require blood work as well. Now, I had people in my DMs a few weeks back asking, how does it make you feel? Because they've heard of all these weight loss drugs or whether it's stuff that we have or other companies have or other mm-hmm. places have. Mm-hmm. People are asking, how does it make you feel? Are there any side effects? Does it make you feel hot? Does it make you, you know, sleepy or anything like that? No. So, yeah, so it, it basically, I mean, AMD 9604, you don't have any, like, onslaughts of things. So, like, some of the GHRHs, the growth release hormone peptides, or MK677, might make you, some people a little bit drowsy or tired. Yeah. yeah. Where AOD is not, you're not going to feel, any, you're not going to get any hotter. It doesn't doesn't work like thermogenesis like ECA stack plus yeah. where you can get warmer right yeah yeah that's the core what, temperature rises yeah it's because when I see people see the videos they see the pictures they see the flames they see yeah. the fat burn like oh is it gonna make you feel no it's gonna burn fat yeah but it's not gonna make you feel like you're burning yeah 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 so it's a lot of these like companies empires. yeah a lot of these companies they put you know niacin and all this yeah. stuff in these capsules niacin is gonna make your skin itchy and feel like it's really burning yeah. fat but it's not really and then the caffeine's going to make you in a great mood, but not really. Yeah. And then an appetite suppressant. So yeah. you feel like crap and you're just itchy and hot. And it's not That's working. the worst. This one is even better because you're going to feel fine. You'll feel yeah. normal, 
but you're gonna be burning the fat. And like yeah. John said, you can get it in capsule too, or a yeah. sublingual too. Yeah. So all you people that are paranoid of injections, I don't know why. We got it's 2023, you. but uh, we can yeah. get it oral way too. Yeah, for sure. So Philo Tasha said, can diabetics take this? And yes, diabetics can take this as well. Um, it's not gonna affect sugar levels at all. That's the best thing about the 176 amino acid sequence instead of the 191, like growth hormone, where that could possibly raise sugar levels, glucose levels. Um, and with this, uh, somebody asked um, if we have a clinic in Ohio. We do service Ohio. So all you have to do is call Corey, is call or text us at 727-389-3220. What's up, Tony? How you doing? What other questions we got here? Any other ones for us real quick? Does getting lean raise your testosterone? Getting lean? No. Uh, getting lean... I don't know if getting lean is going to raise your testosterone levels. Getting healthier might raise your testosterone levels. So let's say you're morbidly obese and you're doing a lot of exercising. I mean, that could raise your testosterone possibly. I mean, I'm not sure if you heard someone say that they got lean and their testosterone was raised, but uh, HRT is going to lean you out. Yeah. People always assume that it makes you big and, you know, going yeah. to be looking like a bodybuilder. It's going to actually lean you out, give you good energy, good libido. So mm -hmm. if you're doing HRT, obviously that's going to raise your testosterone and you're going to lean out. So. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking to get lean and raise your testosterone, HRT or TRT, however you want to call it, is the best way to go. Yeah, for exactly. me, that's what I would for say. For sure. Uh, all right, so we got another question. In, is Talon Mike said, what are the benefits of your injectable amino acids? Okay, so the injectable amino acids that we do, we have got a couple different versions as far as vitamin amino acid blends. Hercules Potion, let's just start with that one because that's pretty much all amino acids. That one's good for recovery. Uh, more strenuous activity, uh, liver support, immune boosting support, uh, collagen of support. Um, what else do we got here? We got uh, vasodilation, muscle pump. Um, you know, your recovery is, is key here, so that's going to be another portion of it. Yeah. And then L-carnitine is in there too as well, so you're going to be able to do, you know, build, build more muscle and then absolutely give your body more support and energy. So that's just one, right? I mean, we could talk about Titan Complete, which is, you know, processing fats for liver faster with the MIC, yeah. the branched chain amino acids to, you know, one, not cannibalize muscle if you're going into a calorie deficit, two, to be able to gain muscle, two, and lean body mass yeah. along with weight loss. And then you have all the B vitamins from, you know, your B complex to B12, which were energy, nervous system, hair, support. Yeah. Um, you know, and then L-carnitine in that one or two as well. Yeah, I would definitely, if you guys get Hercules Potion, I would just automatically get Titan Complete to go with it. They go sure. hand in hand. And Titan Complete, one it's, it's not that much either. It's, you, it's one of our cheapest, you know, therapies. If I if you yeah. really put like how much it costs. So, um, but with the Hercules potion too, the one one thing I've noticed and I've heard from people in the past, yeah. everyone wants a pump. I need something for a pump. Pump. All these companies True, have yeah. these cheap powder, no nitric oxide pump stuff. It may give you a pump, not as good as Hercules, but then now you're running to the bathroom mm -hmm. mid workout. Mm -hmm. So a lot of that stuff, those powders, you put into your meal, and you have to like literally. It's going to affect your workout because you have to use a bath. You're kind of holding it in your stomachs. Yeah. And then you're going to have to stop your workout. And what happens when you get a pump? The least thing you want to do is stop moving because you'll lose absolutely. your pump. So the worst thing you can do is take those powder, mm -hmm. pump stuff, mm -hmm. get all amped up for the gym, two or three sets in, or, 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 your I stomach starts making noise. <laughs> now you have to go in the bathroom, use the bathroom. Your heart rate's coming down. Your pump's going away. You know, you're, you're, you're getting colder. And then now you have to come back and recharge. It's true. Well, if you're a Hercules potion, you don't get any of that upset stomach. Nope. So your workout's going to be quicker because you're not yep. going to have to that interruption. It's yep. going to keep your heart rate up, so it's yep. going to help you burn fat. That's right. And that's how you can really keep a pump. You don't want to catch a pump and then have to stop and then repump and then stop and then repump. That's the worst. That's the worst pump ever. So yeah. Uh, and especially with Hercules potion, me and John will do videos and we'll shoot like two mLs of that, do some push-ups. And we're leaned out and veiny the, the Dude, whole day. That's the best. Like at the beach. Some of the videos that you guys have seen us do at the beach with the, <laughs> I'm not going to say the name, but yeah. with the pink with hotel the, in the with background. With the pink hotel in the background, you guys know what a hotel it is. I didn't want to give them any love right now. Right? But um, yeah, we'll take Hercules potion. People are like, you know, what were you guys doing? That sunlight and that Hercules and those push ups. It's yeah, like, it's you get ready for a show? No, I'm just. <laughs> Killer combination right there, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Nothing, nothing to, if you guys haven't tried Hercules, like, I mean, all you guys are just on Amazon every day buying different pump yeah. powder stuff. Pop is yeah. night and day, night and day. Garbage for sure. Yeah. Um, all right, so Shai Tom Jim, this is a good one right here. Well, actually, real quick, it will boost your libido too. Oh, yeah. Hercules will boost your libido. Dude, I noticed that. Vasodilation, yeah, blood, yeah, flow, blood all flow all throughout the body, not yeah. just in the muscle up here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Downstairs too as well. I had to throw that in there. Yeah. <laughs> Shai Tom Jim, so 
How's the DEA going to affect telemedicine? So DEA is put on the board some different telemedicine rules. So for all you guys out there, I don't want you guys to worry about it. So I have my... We already had, we already had this in effect before COVID. And when COVID hit, it kind of opened the doorway for everybody to like just jump on this thing without getting a license in different states or setting up other things that they should have. It just opened up the floodgates. And that's what's happened. So the DEA, because the... The emergency is coming to an end with the government as far as that goes, the, the medical emergency or whatever it was. So that's going to come back. They're going to try to put this into play. Um, now, it hasn't gone into effect yet. So at that point, it's we still got the time. And all present patients don't have to worry about it. If you're at another clinic, and so if you're a new patient going to those new clinics, you might have to worry about it. For us, like I said, I'm getting my plan. already. It's already in effect. And I'll have some backup contingencies as well. So I'm not really worried about it. You know, I don't want to talk too much, but at that point, I'm not going to lay out the plan for everybody else to follow me either. Yeah. But yeah, but we'll be okay. All right. Um, I often heard that intermediate fasting raises natural GH during fasted periods. Any truth to that or just bro science? Uh, so, bro science. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know about GH levels being raised during that period. Um, I blood tested myself a couple times with doing this, but I've always had a pretty decent GH level or IGF-1 level come back. So, you know, at that point, I, I've had some other patients do intermediate fasting and their testosterone levels were dumps and their IGF-1 levels were in the dumps. So GH levels weren't raised. Now, I haven't run a, a random or a blind tested study on 2,000 individuals, but I'm sure there is maybe some testing or some data out there yeah. um, that they've done on this. So we have to, we have to do some, some research. See, I'm not a fan of any type of fasting because, you know, I want to maintain my muscle and this yeah. and that. If you're someone who doesn't work out, who isn't concerned about losing muscle mass, or then maybe fasting because you're not really... Yeah. But if you're someone that wants to maintain muscle, if you want to look a certain way, this and that, fasting, I feel like, causes a lot of problems. Because even if it does raise your natural J's during that time period, once you start eating again, then your body's all upset, and it's just, I don't know, like, I've never been a fan of fasting. I don't know why people do it. Yeah. Um, like, even all the studies, I've read all the different studies on it, where it helps this, helps that, but... I'm a firm believer in eating the right foods mm -hmm. at the right times. I don't ever believe in starving yourself unless you have like a surgery or you have blood work where the doctor says you need to be fasting. But on my own, I will never just, yeah, I'm going to fast today and not eat until 6 p.m. or mm -hmm. something like that. Like mm -hmm. religious stuff, Ramadan knows that's different and that's religious stuff. But um, on my own, I probably would never fast. No, I mean, <laughs> never fast. Yeah. So I, I've done the intermediate fasting, not the twelve-hour one, but like I like go to sleep like eleven o'clock and not eat till like eleven a.m. Mm -hmm. So I, I wouldn't recommend it for somebody that's trying to gain a whole bunch of lean muscle, right? Yeah. But for somebody that might be overweight that needs a calorie deficit, it might work. But I, I don't know about how long I'm going to go without eating because your body needs nutrients, yeah. or it's going to slow down your metabolism too as well. So you got I mean, it's, it's a balance, I guess, right? But I don't know about the GH levels getting raised. And it, if they do raise. How much, though? Like one? So, no, <laughs> is, it I mean, like, is it noticeable? I don't know. So, I mean, you know, I'll ask some patients. I know some that are due to intermediate fats and they swear by it. Mm. So, you know, that's why I like, to, I like to do a shot at these things and, like, try them out just for myself so I can see, hey, listen, is there any merit to this or how do I feel on this? See, the thing is some people just fast just because that's their schedule. I mean, yeah. they say, like, you know, they, like, I'm not going to eat from 10 at night until 10 in the morning. Well, yeah. if you go to bed at 10.30 and you wake up at 9. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not really, much. All you're doing is just going to bed and waking up and eating. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, yeah. All right. Uh, and Antonio asked, hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? And then question, does any D need to be taken with anything? I saw IV drip for two and four hours. So, um, NAD does not to be, doesn't need to be taken with anything, right? Um, now, if you get NAD, you can get, you can get it in two ways. Antonio, you can get it by IV or you can get it by intramuscular injection. You can give yourself these little injections. Um, and you obviously won't be doing 500 milligrams or 1,000 milligrams at a time, which would probably go in the NAD bag wherever you've seen this at. Now, the two to four hour thing. So, you know, the pharmacy recommend that, you know, the patient sit in the chair for two hours to four hours for 1, mill 500 to 1,000 milligram treatment. Do I ever sit for two to four hours getting the, the 500 milligram treatment? Never. Yeah, I've never done it. It's never. Usually, usually it's like we, we've done it during this show, and it's like yeah. by the end of the show, the bag's forty-five minutes ended. to an hour. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, but places they want to make sure, you know, and all this good stuff. So, 
yeah, I would do the NAD injectable by, inter, by intermuscular injection unless you got two to four hours to spare. But you can do these injectables almost every day, and it's raising those NAD levels. And it's not just for the time period that you get the IV. You can extend this out with the intermuscular injections, okay? So it's really, really good. Also, do you have chromium? or? Oh, yeah. So we have chromium. And Vitamin ECA, A. ECA, you got the chromium in it. Yeah, chromium's in ECA for sure. Um, injectable, we do have chromium in, um, in one of our, 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 I think we still have chromium in injectable. Let me check on that. But I definitely have it in a capsule form that you can take in smooth. Yeah. Vitamin A and vitamin E, you cannot get through injectable. Yeah, vitamin E is an oil-based vitamin, so, so that, wouldn't be, that wouldn't be able to... <laughs> you want to put, like, oil in your veins. Yeah, you can't do that. Uh, Just like vitamin... Well, vitamin D, you'd be in a muscular. So, you, you know, I mean... Yeah. You, you, you want to stay away from those as far as injecting through IV. Um, you can do... You might be able to do injectable in a muscular for E or A, uh, I've not seen too many pharmacies carry it, to be honest with you. I don't, I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen it. I've never seen A or E really ever carry Usually vitamin, e, vitamin E is like the you know, little gel caps. Yeah. And people like, you know, they poke a hole in it to try to like get yeah. the, without having a capsule and all yeah. that. But, uh, yeah. This guy says, been a patient for seven months, lost weight, and unfortunately muscle. I'm starting to CJC 1295. Hoping I get back to my muscular body soon. Any other tips? Ooh. What are you eating? Yeah, are you eating enough because if okay. you're only taking CJ, or you said you're starting CJ's too. So Olivia, Olivia. So what is the goal, right? I know you want to build some muscular here, muscle here. So um, how much muscle? How much weight do you want to gain back? Because you see, so you lost weight and unfortunately muscle. So you've lost some muscle. So we want to definitely get those. CJC twelve ninety five is going to be with Ipromel is going to be a good good way to go. Um, I might incorporate some Hercules potion if I were you uh, for your workouts. Be able to do more strenuous activity and then really feel more blood filling up in those muscles, I, I think will definitely help. You know? Yeah, also, uh, depending on your blood work, you might, I mean, some women actually qualify for HRT, so yeah. you might be a little bit low on testosterone. Women have testosterone True. too, it's not just a man thing. True. If you're a woman and you have testosterone, it doesn't mean you have a beard and a deep voice and all that. True. Certain True. women just have higher than, than normal. Like certain men, we have higher than normal. You know, there'll be a guy that's 14 years old that has a full beard and you know, it's true. body hair and a deep voice since he was 12. There was another guy that's 20 that can grow no facial hair and he doesn't get any until next year. So It's so true. Uh, could be HRT too. She said her goal was weight loss at first. What's the goal now? And again, what do you? it says it's best to take on an empty stomach. What are you taking on an empty stomach? Because CJC is an injectable, so I'm curious what she's taking. Yeah, um, you know, Drew does right, is right about that. The blood work might, might, be, a, might be in your future. My testicles were higher for a woman. Yeah. What is high? And did you do the blood testing through us? Because uh, blood tests like a woman, like on lab corpse, like zero to 40 or 44, like right around there. I think it's 40 to be exact. So usually the girls come back at like 20, 30. Now you can go up to about 99, 100, and that's double the, or a little bit over double, um, but not much more than that, right? And we don't really want to see those levels even go that high, but it's, it's okay without getting any negative side effects. All right, so what else? Holding out loud, what's going on, brother? How you doing? Um, my doctor told me yesterday that if I lose my pot belly with a healthy diet and exercise, my tea will rise up. I don't know. I, you know, I mean, it might, but I doubt it. You know, I mean, listen, if you lose your pot, I've seen plenty of guys that are overweight, right, and naturally have decent levels, like 600, and that's decent for a guy that's like yeah. 40 years old. What happens when their levels are that high? Their estrogens that high too, so True. then they're gonna have more water True. and body fat. And, True. Uh, and depending on their genetics, then that could be a whole other thing. So. Like, but why do you leave if your testosterone levels are low, right? And you fix those levels and you start exercising, do the diet and all that, you'll lose weight too as well, and you'll feel like energy and, and libido is gonna be there and all these good things. Um, it's gonna be. It's a lot harder to be able to gain lean muscle mass and have everything working optimal if your testosterone levels are really really low. Right, you have little to no motivation. Um, you might be down. Confidence might be down. Um, and at that point, you just don't feel good. So yeah. if you feel better, you're gonna you're gonna give more effort, yeah, right? Definitely. And yeah. Instead of just you know feeling like crap and, and not looking good and all these other things. A beagle named Hunter. Love Hercules. Been on it for two years. Game changer. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. We appreciate that love, man. I love Hercules potion too, man. It's the best. Yeah. Shaped by Sarah. What's going on? Uh, Dan Wheeler, the Hercules Potion ECA stack, Titan Complete is the way to go. So that is the Titan Trifecta. Yeah, that's my, yeah. That is the Titan Trifecta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you listen, there's discount pricing 
if you get those three together. Titan trifecta, that's all you have to ask for. Um, Katrina, man, we have all kinds of people on here. Jump stack, what's going on? What's going on, guys? Any other questions on here? All right, my doctor told me yesterday. No, that's the same one. Uh, all right, so Ruben, my blood work came in. I'm with 50 of testosterone, very low. You guys gave me 150, 40 twice a week. I'm athletic, but was on street things. What's the the le lays level for 39? So if you came back and you had a testosterone level of 50, you had a testosterone 50? level of 50 total, Ruben? And then you're taking 40 twice a week. Okay, so you're taking 150 milligrams. All right. Is 150? Yeah. Yeah. It's a, well, it should be 160, actually. So with that, listen, let's see how it goes and if you start feeling better, right? Mm -hmm. If you're not, that's when you need to contact us and tell us what's going on. Hey, listen, I'm still not feeling like I should, you know? And at that point, we should possibly run another free and total testosterone test on you in 30 days, see where it comes back as with estrogen levels, and then readjust. If it's not optimal, then maybe the providers, because I don't know your, your medical history and what went on in your consultation, but maybe they'll be able to up it up. I mean, they could maybe up to yeah. 200 or maybe, you know, a little bit higher. So um, at that point, listen, you need to communicate with us. Communicate with the staff. I promise we'll work with you and get you where you want to go and get you to optimal levels. You're feeling good, looking good, and performing your best. You're 39 years old, man. you got a lot of life to live. I'm 42. You know, and we're just getting started. And how long have you been? Like he says, you just started. How long have you been? Usually it takes about a week or two to get going. So, yeah, for sure. I mean, you're not going to take a, you're not going to feel good like, you know, the next yeah. day. It takes a little bit of time to get going. So. Yeah. Antonio, what peptides and amino acids are great for your liver and pancreas? Glutathione, baby. Glutathione for sure. That's going to be a great one, baby. BPC-157. Can you take vitamin D injection a few times a week or once or twice? So vitamin D injection, you might want to take once a week. That's what we have our patients take. Now, with vitamin D, you want to make sure you get a blood test for vitamin D and see where your vitamin D levels are at. Because if your vitamin D, level, vitamin D levels are too high, this can be toxic to you, right? And cause renal issues with your kidneys and other issues. So you want to make sure. That's why we just don't prescribe vitamin D or let people just buy vitamin D. We want to do a blood test on vitamin D levels to make sure. Yeah, he's saying that he got his vitamin D level checked and it was uh, it's always at 30. It's on the low end. Okay. Um, so he's asking what levels and aminos did you blow or check? Yeah, so um, so vitamin D levels, you, if it's at 30, then, yeah, you can definitely do an injectable. Now, we have a 50,000 IU injectable once a week or a 100,000 IU injectable once a week. Those work very well for patients. It's one time, you're good to go. I have seen some oral versions of vitamin D work pretty well. And I don't like to talk about oral supplementation, but on a blood test, and consistently, I, I can't lie. And so at that point, like, it was pretty good. Like, my mom's vitamin D levels were through the roof. I had to tell her to stop taking vitamin D because it was so high. Yeah. You know? I used to take, like, a bunch of D3 capsules. Yeah, like, dude. Back in my capsules days. Because, I mean, believe it or not, guys, you guys want to talk about testosterone levels raising, your vitamin D level, that is associated with your testosterone levels, too, as well. So mm. and vitamin D is not a vitamin. It's actually a hormone. So... At that point, you need to make sure that you have all these things balanced. You want everything running properly, not just the engine or the transmission of the car. You want your whole car, your tires, balance, you know, alignment, the whole nine, running perfect so you're running perfect. There's different vitamin Ds, too. There's D1, D3. So oh, you yeah, got to make, sure. Sure, make sure you're getting the right vitamin D. True that. Yeah. YG Lee said, I have 90 days and I'll be a patient. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, he's almost 21? Yep, yep, oh. yep. Awesome. We might have to, we might have to um, give him... A little birthday T-shirt or something. He's been tuning in every week, oh, man. Yeah. This guy's hardcore. Yes. New yes. patient's always going to give you a shirt, so we're going to hook you up. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. All right, so let's get into some of our conversations here. So this is a crazy one. Uganda passes anti-gay bill imposing death penalty for some offenses. Yeah, basically in Uganda, an African country, you um, if you're LG... Uh, QTB? Yeah, LG QTB. Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. What it, it's basically like illegal. So if they find out that you support that or you're gay or anything like that, it's basically illegal and they can put you in jail or even impose death penalties. So uh, basically the anti-homosexuality bill uh, criminalizes people identifying as LGBTQ. Wow. So anybody who identifies as that, it's a criminal offense. So I'm thinking that what they're going to start doing over there is they're just not going to tell people. 
You know, yeah. <laughs> it's like you'll have a guy walking around that appears, you know, or, or, or yeah. with another man, yeah. uh, maybe being intimate, maybe not holding hands, whatever. And they just, if someone asks, no, we're not. We're just friends. We're just friends, yeah. yeah. Uh, how they're going to prove it, you know, so. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of crazy it's getting to be this point. Like all the other countries and in the U.S. over here, everything is like open. You can be who you want, this and that. And over there, it's like the complete opposite. Well, so. It's not just there. I mean, we, yeah. we look at you I know, know the Middle I'm Eastern Middle East, countries. Yeah, Middle Eastern countries. They do I not play yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, they find out you, you're. It's not just you either. It's your whole family that yeah. is disgraced. Yeah. So I mean, there's there's different things here, and we're we're talking about thirty countries in Africa, thirty countries in Africa. Mm, yeah. So at that point, yeah. like this is going to be. I mean, this is a big big thing. I mean, obviously, right now, the, the, there's. Different sides, I guess, and it's just, and, and it's getting worse and worse. Yeah, and it's not even just like okay, you'll get a fine, you'll get a little, little bit of time. It says right here, the penal code already calls for life imprisonment yeah. for same-sex relations. Yeah. So if they find a woman and a woman, or a man and man, yeah. have any type of homosexual relations, life imprisonment or transgender. <laughs> well, yeah. You, they read that bill. Uh, I think it was yeah. up a little bit. Great. Yeah, violations. It says same sex relations, including the possibility of death penalty. Yeah. So you could literally, if you're gay or you're homosexual, go down a you could literally bit. be put I've just to seen death. it. Yes, right there. So the anti homosexual bill states that any person that holds out as a lesbian, gay, transgender, a queer, or any other sexual or gender identity that is contrary to the binary categories of male and female could face up to 10 years in prison per Human Rights Watch. So. You can't promote it, you can't be a part of it, you can't be it. And if you're on any social networks, they find out, you're going to have problems. No aiding or abiding. Nothing. And this could affect social support networks, including family and friends. So now you're not just putting yourself in jeopardy, your family and friends could be in jeopardy too. We're just engaging with you. They want to isolate this. So, I mean, so it says death penalty will be given to to those convicted of aggravated homosexuality. Yeah. Like, you always hear this aggravated murder or aggravated robbery. Ag now we're having aggravated homosexuality. Yeah. Uh, it, so says, it says a broad term that would, that that could include gay sex with a minor or someone who is HIV positive. So Yikes. I know in Africa they have, like, the biggest AIDS, HIV Ooh. population. It's huge over there. So this might be their way. And I'm not saying it's a... It's, this is just how it was put out there. Yeah. HR, HIV and AIDS was first put out there. It was kind of known as like, you know, a gay man's yeah. disease. Yeah. Like how it went out there. So now the country that has the highest HIV AIDS population is putting this into place. So yeah. kind of like, I don't know if that's what they think or, but it's just weird that they kind of, not weird, but it, it goes hand in hand with yeah. the country that has the highest population. I wonder if this is going to happen in countries that are like, Aren't as, I'm not going to say harsh, but like, I mean, I, it would never happen here. No. But, um, I, you know, like, like I say, we're, you know. I people are going to start moving. I mean, I'm sure if people in Uganda are homosexual, they're just going to move out of there. I, I mean, know, man. It's a pretty poor country. Yeah, it is a real poor country. Yeah, talk, actually, no, Uganda, talk. no, Uganda is actually a nice country. It has poor areas, but I believe Uganda, no, I, I think it is. I believe Uganda has like a really nice really? city. Like, I watched a special a few weeks ago, I believe. And I, I couldn't believe it. it was like a city and it was like upper class. But all all we see is the kids drinking the water and yeah, the rags yeah, on the yeah, side yeah, of the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, but it's just I mean that's I don't know, man. Huh. It's bad. Like <laughs> it be, it's bad, man. It's a it's a crazy it's a crazy new world. Shrink that. How do how do sure. they prove it though? Like how do they prove it? If they see two guys and they Listen. walk up to them and they say, "Are you gay?" No. Okay, you're fine. Like, how Listen, do they prove that? They, they, they have, have a video. They, they have, have, have a witness. Picture. A witness. It just says, hey, yeah, I seen this, and that's it. Dude, third world countries, they just go by emotion. They don't, well, really they don't care. Like us, like yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like, hey, this guy's gay. Yeah. I'll go get him. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's it. It's, it's, yeah, it, it, guys, it was crazy when you go to other countries. Like, even when I went over to Greece, right? When I go over to Greece, I got my own property on my own island over there. And, uh, and at this point, when you go over there, there's like three police guys, maybe four on the whole island. Shed it bath. No, they got guns, yeah, for sure, but whatever they want, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we don't want to come on and do this. So, yeah, we want to do that. Oh, you got to do this. And, and, and it's it's like, ah, we'll let this pass. I mean, it, it's crazy some yeah. of the stuff. Yeah, I know Mexico's real bad. Money, money gets involved, it's even crazier. It, yeah. it gets really, really nuts. And it's all about the money in some of those places. We're fortunate over here. I don't like it when they force it on our kids in movies and some schools. Nasty Nas 801. 
YouTube. YouTube Kids. I if do. you guys don't know, YouTube Kids right now is subliminally putting stuff in their videos. If you guys go to YouTube yeah. Kids, or if you guys have kids that watch it, go yeah. on there. It's stuff that the kids aren't realizing because yeah. they're too young, but the parents go on there and watch it. Like, yeah. wait a minute, they're trying to force this. Yeah. On the kids, so I, they're, they're doing it in weird ways, yeah. Know? And so, I mean, all D Disney, I mean, Disney is really, really putting it on there. Um, they're making you know new characters that and they're pushing this out, right? So, it's not like it, it's not like you know, it's organic, they're forcing it down the kids, and the kids don't know. And then the kids yeah. think, Oh, I like these characters, and I want to be like these characters, and they try to idolize characters, and they might not know what they're doing, and it leads them down the wrong path, per se. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't like it either. And I think there's going to be some big change coming here because it's already going on where these different states are fighting over these different bills, whether it's child education, what's going on in their curriculum, what they can do, transgender bathrooms. I, I mean, it's just, it, there's just all this, this crazy stuff. So I, listen, we're living it right with you guys and uh, we're going to have front row seats to what happens next, I guess. Uh, transgender <laughs> bathrooms, that's, that's not good, man. Trans, that's not yeah, good. Yeah, all genders, I mean... What, you what's know, going to happen if you have a kid and the kid goes in the bathroom and sees a guy in a dress peeing on the urinal? The so it's going to mess up the kid's head for the rest listen, of his life. Right? Check this out. You see right? a guy in a skirt standing up at the urinal using the bathroom with a wig on. So check this out. So the okay. Penn State uh, transgender went from male to female, and he was a big dude, right? And he was, you know, he was like top of Penn State's um, swimming. So... A couple of girls came out and they said, like, they were like, I don't know, mentally scarred to a certain extent because he's in their locker room yeah. and he's showering with them and he's not had the regender modification surgery. He hasn't? So, no, he, has, so, he, so, so he still has male parts. <laughs> so these girls, like, we're, we're showering with, a, a, you know, a man that has this. And, um, you know, at that point, well, that's not right. Did you guys hear about the transgender robot? Get out of here, nasty. Wait, nasty. hold on, nasty nasty. Come on now. Are, Are you serious? serious? Send us some more info on this, because that's this dude. better not be the new one that's coming out. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. be upset. Nasty dude. Nas, we, we, give us some more info on that. Shout out, shout out to nasty Nas for robot. Us that. What? There's no way. Come on. I mean, this is what I'm saying. Even even in the Shazam two, like I like some of the movie, but man, they pushed it hardcore, oh, hardcore, cool. man. Oh, Transformers series. Of course, yeah. they in the movie. Thank God. Yeah, it's a non-binary non robot. What? All robots are non-binary. Yeah, all robots are non-binary. I mean, what are we talking about here? It doesn't even have, like... It have parts. The whole part of being transgender oh, is wow. the gender. Yeah, look at that. So they they them. them. Oh, my God. Nightshade. This is horrible. Wow. They turned Nightshade to a transgender. What's Nightshade? He's, he's a That's robot. The name. The name. The name. Last name, the movie, or the character. Oh, the character. So Nightshade, Nightshade Transformers. Transformers. Damn, that's Nightshade. Yikes. Damn. Thank God it wasn't the Transformer movie. All right. I wonder so, what kids are like saying about this because we're like older and we're like, oh, kids think this. Thing. I wonder if they, like, you ask a kid that's like ten, like ask a uh, boy or girl, like. I mean. I think they don't care, or they're just used to it. Yeah, they're probably just like, oh, yeah, he's, he's trained, like, whatever, it's no big deal. Yeah. So, you know, when I, when I talk to my son, I've talked to my son through, you know, school and all that, and he's like, yeah, like, I mean, I'm talking like 11, 12 years old, and he's telling me about bisexual girls in his class, and like, I'm like, how are these, I mean, 11 years old, I mean, how does a, a girl even know she's bisexual? Because they watch YouTube, see girls kissing, so then they do it themselves. I, yeah, I, I, well, I guess so, but, you know, like, yeah, so, I mean, there's definitely... I think there's a couple trans in his school right now. I mean, he he doesn't mess around with it or, or cause trouble, but like at that point, he's like, "Hey, it's like I don't understand it." But some a lot of kids don't, and maybe some kids like it or think it's cool. I, I don't know. It's crazy. I don't like. I don't. I mean, the, the way it is now, it's. I mean, the biggest, not the biggest, but a concern I see is that people that don't know that someone's transgender. Yeah. And these <laughs> these transgender. That's scary. Well, if you were born a man and now you live as a woman. That's scary. And you're getting surgeries and all this stuff. Yeah. So you appear to be like a woman. Your yeah. voice sounds like a woman. You got yeah. laser hair removal. You got yeah. breast augment, all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. And what happens is, you know, when it comes time to have intercourse and then they find out, then it's like a murder scene. Or then it's like crazy. Yeah. Like, is it still domestic violence? That's a whole nother show. No, remember, we, this happened to a, a basketball player. It's, it was a professional athlete. He ended Dwight up. Howard. He ended up going home, and found out when he got there yeah. that it was a man, and yeah. he beat the hell out of the dude. Yeah. And he got off on the charges. 
So, I mean, that, listen, that is messed up. Like, if you are and you meet somebody, that's something you need to, to let them know right away if they don't know. Mm. If they, you know I mean, right? I mean, that's kind of like... Yeah. Um, YG was asking if Peter won his game. Uh, yeah, he did win his baseball mm -hmm. game. Thank God, yeah. He's got another one tomorrow. So hopefully he wins and he's starting pitching tomorrow. So hopefully the pitch is good. He Check. said, John, text your kids to see if they know who Randall oh, is. They're not going to know who Randall is. They don't know, hell, first, they don't know yeah. first blood. Remember, My son does. Remember the Asian woman in Rambo? That was like yes. a crush as like a little kid. Like yes. That. Oh, yes. Man. Uh, you know, my, my son, dude, he he surprised me some days when I walk in his room because he's you know he, he's he's a movie watcher like us, obviously, and he's watching like Rocky One, Rocky Two, Rocky Three, Rambo's. I mean, dude, just That's like good, real yeah, good. Movies. I mean, he <laughs> likes like you know, he likes those good movies, so baseball movies. He, he you know he's. He's a boy. He's okay, right? okay. Yeah, he's. I think uh, that was one thing I honestly was worried about. I mean, the program. I, I would love. Yeah. I would love my son no matter what, but you know, it'd be kind of an adjustment for me because I'm not like that, and I've never lived like that. So, you know, thank God, you know, my son so far is is okay and on the path that I like. I guess. Yeah. I don't want to say it's wrong, but that's crazy. The young kids like that in school, like yeah. when I was in when I was in high school, I don't remember a single no. gay person. No, it, well, that we knew of. You might have thought like, there was oh, always yeah, a couple is. kids that we just knew, but they never it. admitted to it. But another thing too is like when it comes to like homosexuality, a lot of times people think that just because a man talks soft yeah. or asks a certain way that he's gay. Yeah. When you look at people like Prince, the singer Prince, yeah. he wears purple. He wears flowery, you yeah. know, yeah. stuff. He he has a high voice. He you know. He looks kind of, he acts kind of feminine, but he's not gay. No. So, I mean, just because, like, a lot of times people see a young kid, and they're like, oh, we could tell he was already gay. He just might be a little feminine or just right. have a softer voice or, right. you know, he may dress a certain way. That doesn't necessarily mean he's gay just because of the way that they are. You know, Michael Jackson, Prince, uh, there's, there's plenty of, like, musicians or artists that if they weren't musicians or artists. Everyone would say he's gay. For sure. But now that he's an artist, he's just cool wearing purple. For sure. And purple rain and being For all sure. you know, soft. Yeah, like man. That. I mean, Prince, Prince one can ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, yeah, he yeah. had some hot ass women, dude. I mean, yeah, so yeah, yeah. in his life, he was, yeah. he, was, he was doing good. But if you were to sure. walk in here right now and you didn't know he was Prince, of course you'd be like, not. oh, yeah, the, you know, the gay guy with the purple he's jacket. He's flamboyant. Yeah. You know, he was. He was flamboyant as hell. So um, some artists, you might think that they are, and they really are, but. Yeah. Uh, like Elton little, John. Little, little Uzi Vert's on the fence. Oh for me. God, he's a little bit. Of, he's a little. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, eight minute warning for you, John. Okay, all right, I got eight minutes left. All right, so let's talk about rapper Six Nine rushed to the hospital after brutal attack at Florida Gym. LA yes, Fitness. Florida Gym. I believe it was in uh, LA Fitness. Lake Worth was it Lake yeah. F yeah. Lake Worth, Texas, on um, Lakewood, no. Florida. Yeah, Lakewood, Florida. Uh, at LA Fitness, basically, if you guys don't know who Six Nine is, he's a rapper with the colorful braids. He's been known to Rainbow quote unquote. Braids. He's been known to quote unquote snitch on certain people. Oh. He's been known to. That's a um, fact. Yeah, he, he's been he, he, he's been known to snitch on people. He's been known to, uh, you know, mess with underage uh, kids, mm -hmm. yep. girls. Yeah, so he's got a lot of people. Old. He's got a lot of people that don't like him. Yeah. Basically, they got him in LA Fitness in the locker room. You guys know the steam room locker room has no cameras. Yep. So if there's ever a place to do something where you don't want to be seen, that's where it was at. Yep. They basically bun rushed him. They grabbed his hair. They punched him. They kicked him. Messed up his face. He's rushed to the hospital, and um, it's just. I mean. I'm not going to say it's only a matter of time, but when you have that many enemies, you don't care, and you're like that, and you're you, when you have that many enemies, and you're a major artist, and you're walking into a place with no security, like trying to be cool. I don't need security, and look what happened to you, you know. Yeah. And now we have other rappers like Boosie, who's one of my. I love Boosie. Yeah. Boosie's like good. Yeah. No, for sure. <laughs> Boosie's like snitches gets the good. Yeah, like for he's, sure. He's like I'm glad it happened. Like this for is sure. good. Like so. Um, it's, I don't know, man. It's, I'm wondering what's going to happen, like, with him, with the guys. Like, well, I know, I know he, he, had, he asked for federal protection now. Yeah, there's video. He asked for it. There's video, so, I mean. I mean, the guy walked out. He did walk out. So, he walked out from it. It wasn't like they left him on the floor. Oh, yeah, like, he was walking know, he was his down. face all up. Some guy was like, hey, man, what the hell they do you like yeah. that? Or something like I'm that. a fan. I'm a fan. Yeah, and there's a video on this. I think the video is on this actual link. Yeah, so, actual. I mean, I, I, listen, the guy is – Obviously done some bad things in the past. He stitched on some wrong people in the past. Either way you look at it, you shouldn't have did it. Yeah. But um, at that point, he tried to save his butt. That's okay. Uh, we can't. I don't. We can't show it because we'll get shut down. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But the bad thing about it is this: the bad thing about what he's doing is he's trying to like just stay out there, stay relevant, and make all this different content and be out in the public. Like 
out where you're going to get looked at by some people that definitely want to do you some bad. Yeah. I mean, I've seen this guy, when we were down in Miami, we'd be in the club, this guy walk in, like, and try to create, like, a show for himself. Yeah. So, you know, you do that, and you're uh, on the outs with some people that are looking for you that will do some bad things to you. You probably want to lay low. I mean, you know, this guy's got to make money somehow. I don't know how he's making money, but. I don't know why he would just walk into an L.A. fitness. I mean, that'd be like, like you're a major, major rapper. He has songs with Nicki Minaj. He's yeah. been on the you know, top yeah. charts. Oh, like, why would you just... It's not have, like he blends he, in. He has so many enemies. No, he's got, like, rainbow braids. It's like, not like he blends in. Face tats and all yeah. this. So it's like, I mean, obviously people know who you are. It's not like he, you know, put on put on a hooded sweatshirt yep. and with glasses. And, you know, yep. Like, yep. when I saw The Rock out in Vegas, this guy was, like, camouflaged. Like, Discreet, baby. He had, like a, a, like, a hood only around his face. He had glasses on. And he had his security... Standing around so no one could go to like where the machines that he yeah. was at. Like, I mean, obviously that's the rock. He has a yeah. more audience. Yeah, yeah. But certain people try to be cool and walk around with no security. And look what happens. Now you say he has federal protection. He's asking for federal protection, which I don't know if they're going to grant him. Probably won't. But it is what it is. Surprise! Don't want his bum rush to Island Boys, but they're not stitches. At least they're not stitches. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're just clowns. Weird. They're just weird. They're, just, yeah. they're I clowns. I don't think they should get jumped though. I they're don't just, think they they're should. They're just get. weird, and people think they're fake and all that. But if they get caught in the wrong, the wrong place, and there's there's some rushers there, they're gonna come yeah. get that jewelry, and that's just money. Yeah, has nothing to do with them or not. They're just running across the wrong guys. Yeah, they're just gonna they're gonna. I mean, see a lot of these rappers will wear fake jewelry when they first start out, that. and then next thing you know. They get robbed at gunpoint or yep. jumped over yep. a two hundred dollar yep. chain that's yep. supposed to be worth forty grand. Yeah, like, yeah, yep. yep. So all these people wearing all these fake jewelry and stuff at the clubs trying to be cool. That's great, but yep. you, you better be careful walking Maybe your car target, because yeah. Yeah, yeah, like you may have paid a couple hundred dollars for that fake jewelry, but people are thinking like, man, that's a Hellcat around that guy's neck. Yeah, that looks real nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, shit. I mean, it's it's something you got definitely got to look at, man, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, next topic? Yes. Uh, next topic is uh, that groggy feeling when you wake up might be sleep inertia. Three ways to prevent it. So sleep inertia. So sleep inertia is um, basically it's when you wake up from a prolonged sleep and you feel like you've, deg- you've, degrade- you've degraded your energy or your energy is degraded. So you're down, right? And you can't get up. It's a temporary degradation of alertness and performance by text definition here. Um, so basically a sleep physician went over some of the different things that you could do for this and what's going to be happening. So sleep inertia can happen if you've had prolonged sleep. So if you sleep too much or your schedule changes. So for example, you, you, Monday through Friday, you go to bed every time at 11 o'clock. You wake up every morning at 7 a.m. All right, your body's on the schedule now. Friday comes along, Saturday comes along, Sunday comes along, and you know what? You're a single bachelor like Drew. He's going out, he's meeting girls, he's hanging out, he's staying up late, he's going to bed, he's waking up when he's not supposed to, he's going to bed at another time. So now, two or three days, sounds, your body sounds, accurate. <laughs> <laughs> sounds accurate. Sounds about accurate. Like, you know, you're having fun, right? Really you've good. worked all week, you're hard work, so you want to you relax, enjoy yourself. So at that point, this could slow, or excuse me, throw off your sleep patterns, and this could cause sleep inertia on Monday morning. And you're always wondering, why Monday morning, why do I feel like I'm so tired and groggy? Yeah. This is why. Okay, so it's it's pretty cool like to really break down some of these different things and to look for these different things. Now, sleep inertia can last for about 30 minutes to up to two hours to maybe prolong longer than that during the day. Now, obviously, in the morning when you get there at Monday at 9 a.m. and you're trying to do emails and you're not all there, this could be a flag of sleep inertia. And there's some different ways that you can get around sleep inertia. One, you want to make sure that you uh, get those sleep patterns together, right? Uh, and make sure you're going to bed at a certain time and then you're waking up at a certain time. Also, you want quality sleep. So, you know, when you're going to sleep, make sure you're turning off all your TVs, not looking at your phone the hour before, doing all this good stuff so you can go to sleep and you can get quality sleep and rest. Someone made a good point to me the other day. They were saying that... Uh... Put your don't have your phone in the same room that you sleep in. A lot of people put it in a nightstand, or they'll have it in the bed with them, just laying in the bed somewhere. Mm-hmm. And then when they wake up, their first reaction is, "What time is it?" They look at the phone, and then they go to something else. Mm-hmm. If you have a clock or something on your nightstand, mm-hmm. like put the phone like in the kitchen, plugged up, or in another room, or downstairs, upstairs, whatever. That way, when you wake up, you're not gonna like, let me walk all the way downstairs and grab the phone. Like it's it, 
you might still still do it, but there's got to be a way. The phone is the only thing yeah. that's keeping me up. Yeah. The only thing. I, I mean, the, I'll wake up, look at the time, and it'll be like 2.47 a.m., and then next thing you know, I'm on my phone till 3.38. So the way that I get around this, obviously, I, I, you know, if people call or text or whatever, I got to look at the phone. She used the same way. But what I do is I plug in the phone, and I put it, like, right on my nightstand, and then I have a clock that when I wake up, I look at it. It's right over there. So, like, when I wake up, I'm like... Yeah, that's... I'm like this. And that's the only way I can get around it, because I used to be the same way. I pick up the phone, now I'm up. Now I'm searching, scrolling, answering emails, yeah. questions, might, social media, whatever it is. I think I might order a, like a nightstand clock on Amazon today or something. Because it's, it's nice to have. Right? I haven't had a clock on my nightstand or even in the room mm -hmm. in so long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, But now there's no more cable boxes anymore to have this, the time. Yeah. There's no more clocks. The only thing is the phone. But I actually might do that. All so right. that way I could just wake up, look, and then... Right. One more topic, and I'm, i got to get out of here. All right, so how to lose love handles. So love handles are subcutaneous fat that are on the side of your your stomach here, right? Um, us guys have or might have love handles. You might not have love handles. But love handles are not the worst type of fat. You have visceral fat and adipose fat. Those are the worst types of fat. You can actually get rid of your love handles pretty quickly because you can utilize that fat if you start eating correctly, you start exercising correctly, and doing all the good things like getting sleep, optimizing your hormone levels and such. Um, now, exercise and nutrition and all these good things might take a little bit longer. You can go with the fast route where you can get you know, liposuction or you can get the, the freezing of the fat or the heating of the fat off. Or AOD 9604. Or AOD or, or semi right. So, <laughs> But um, yeah. you know, the, the good thing is, yeah, you could take those shortcuts and get the weight loss and get rid of the love handles like that. But the best thing to do is to exercise along with it. Because you're building yourself up, you're getting the strength, you're building more muscle, you're feeling better by doing the exercise, and that is the best thing you can possibly do. So also pound the water too, and it's not necessarily fat if it's around your midsection. Yep. Your kidneys are on your lower, lower back near your waistline. So if you guys are holding, you might be holding water around that area. True. So uh, the more water you drink, the more water you're going to excrete from that area. And again, like John yep. said, clean up the diet. Clean it the happens diet. pretty quick. Yeah, like oh, for really sure. Good. Unless you're like 100 pounds overweight or yeah. 200. But if you just have a little bit of love, you can clean that up. And yeah. Then, a month or so, even less, depending on how much it is. Yeah, just depending on what you're doing. And listen, if you're progressing and moving toward that direction, you're going at a, a good pace, stick, yeah. stay the plan. Keep moving. Yeah. You know, as long as that's not, if you start plateauing and stuff like that, then you need to reevaluate and see what else is going on and then, you know, tweak the plan, continue the plan, and move on. Yeah. But uh, I appreciate all you guys. I got to get going. Uh, it's been a great show with Big Drew, as always. Titan Lifestyle, Fridays, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Titan Lifestyle. Make sure you guys hit the bell so you're notified of videos. Metroplex Grand Opening April 1st. Olympia 11, 2 to 11, 5. Festival of Speed 11, 5 at the Ritz Carlton, Orlando. We'll see you next week. Titan Lifestyle, 2 p.m. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Sasha.